right at the screen as we switch to this. Hello and welcome to this edition of DCU Tonight. I'm your host, Rock Var, here on the couch with Hippolyta Kent. We're live on Var Nation, talking DCUO, DC Comics, DC TV, mostly tonight, DCUO, and the awesome new DCUO swag that you can get from the DC. You owe swag, the BVS swag bags, the Batman v Superman swag bags, currently available on the marketplace. Uh, also, the posters available for Marks of Legend. Thank you to everyone who's told me that more than one time, and I've forgotten. PvP, going to be burning it up. Burning it up and burning it down. Our friend Dark Demon on the stream. Hello, Dark Demon. Welcome to DCU tonight, or DCU tonight. He's our special guest. In studio, we are live tonight from Crypto Colony Terra, the league hall of the prestigious Kryptonian gra gladiators, led and mentored by none other than Android Superman 42. And this is just one example of one of the posters available in the DCUO swag. You can see the emblems available in the emblem swag bags. I am now wearing the crest of the House of L. I will never take it off. I will never take it off again. How do we have one comment but not one viewer? Oh, okay. <laughs> Magic. I'll never take this off. I'm going to have variations of it. But I will never again take it off. And so what we're going to do tonight is we are going to talk about um, the happenings of DCUO. We're going to catch up on the latest episode of Gotham, which we just ourselves caught up on. Um, probably not in a lot of detail, because I'm going to spend the evening decorating. I have 20 posters that I have to find a place for, and every single one of them is going in Varnation Studios. I'm going to make a studio solely dedicated to Batman v Superman because when this movie comes out and I see it I'm going to have to have a place to review it and that review could go many ways it could go one of two ways one of several ways but one way is we'll be dancing in there like partying it up because it's so awesome the other way is that we'll be punching and breaking all the posters however you look at it what whatever happens with the movie these posters are ridiculously cool. Sorry, Dark. Come up with me if you want to, bud. Um, look at the detail on that thing. I feel like I'm really looking at Henry Cavill right now. That's a cold look he's given. It's not a very Superman look. He's pissed. I feel like this is the poster in Ghostbusters right now. If we had this poster in real life and we put it in our baby's room, it would try to somehow, like, take our baby's body. Huh? It would try to, like... Oh, he kicked. He kicked. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, I don't mean really. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, bud. No. But I'm just saying, it would be Superman, though, so he'd be the one trying to inhabit him. I don't know if I want this Superman doing that, though. As soon as he's able to walk, he'll be going around snapping necks. Oh! Rise of the jugular. We just went right to the jugular. Uh, but no, this is beautiful. And so Superman Red, uh, uh, right here, a member of our league, donated this to the league. And we thank him for that because that's a beautiful poster. That is a beautiful poster. I don't know if he's watching right now or not, but look at him in his Superman redness. We'll take a look at the rest of the uh, league call at another time, but right now we're going to go back to Var Nation Studios and start decorating because... We have, you know, not only this poster in the game, in the game marketplace, or with Marks of Legend. 
and we're gonna we're we'll tour around and show where that can be done. Because I think we have to go to Watchtower, right? Pretty sure that's the case. But then I've got boom, and I'll show off the different emblems because I do have this one, which you can change the color of the S, you can change the border color, and you can change the background color so the yellow can be changed. So I'll have a version. I'll have all kinds of them. I've got them on my um, uh, casual outfit right now. I've got the black background with the red S. I'll show you that and just we're gonna go a lot of places with it we're gonna go all over the board um, but never vary from this and I love the scuba top with it because the hands I don't have to have you know have covered hands I like them to feel my knuckles my bare knuckles when I punch not really alright let's transport ourselves back to Bar Nation Studios. It's been a light week so far in DC TV. We did watch Supergirl. I think you commented, Lida, that it was one of the best episodes of Supergirl to date. For you. Which means, you know, for a, super, for a real hardcore Supergirl fan, it was a phenomenal episode. Well, what was your favorite part of the episode? Was it when, um, Banshee was trying to make out with people? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably my favorite part of the episode. Back in Vaughn Nation Studios, everybody. The usual set of DCU Tonight, where we talk DCUO and DC Comics and DC TV. Uh, we are going to go over to DC Comics and check out the hashtag DCTV secrets for this week, even though I think we'll only have Gotham and Supergirl. Um, we'll get into that. I made absolutely no notes tonight for DCTV simply because it's going to be way too much to deal with putting all these posters up. We're going to be engulfed in this awesomeness. First, we have to pick a room to do it in. And so I think since we have a number of people chatting. I'm going to pull up the chat. We don't normally do that on DCU tonight. We normally do it just on live streams, but um, since we're just going to be decorating and stuff and hanging out, we might as well chat it up a little bit too. But i got to turn the volume off on my speakers. Because if not, it will be annoying. And there will be me in the background of me. And the only person who would enjoy that would be me. Oh, it's Demon. Watchtower at War Room. That's where you get it. Thank you, Dark Demon. And you guys are welcome to come to um, Var Nation Studios. Red and Demon, any other League members who are there or around, you guys are always welcome to come and hang out in the studio when I'm doing this. That is more than fine. I have a couch right here where people can hang out. I have the chair from Pee Wee Herman from Pee Wee's Playhouse. Cherry is here, which, don't forget, Pee-wee's got the new movie coming out on Netflix Friday this week. So if you've got Netflix, um, prepare for that awesomeness. If you do not have Netflix, let me tell you what, you get a free 30-day th trial period when you sign up. Sign up, watch Daredevil, <laughs> watch all of the, you know, all the comic booky shows, catch the Pee-wee Herman movie, Wait for the new season of Trailer Park Boys that comes out later this month. And then, you know, if you don't want to keep it, drop it. You've had 30 days for free. That's what I would do. But that's just me. But I'm telling you this right now, and I'm not a spokesperson for them in any way. Um, you're not going to stop the subscription. There's really no reason to. Because it's amazing. And for the money, you just can't beat it. Especially when you're getting new things like Pee Wee Herman and whatnot. Yeah, and Son of Batman, he had all of the DC movies, uh, or all the DC cartoon movies, Gotham's on there, Flash is on there, Arrow's on there, um, it's incredible. So, which room do we want to take over here? I'm not sure. 
I've got to have, it has to be, see, this is the newsroom. So if we don't have this, we don't have anything. There's no news on the show then. No one can do their jobs. We have no place to file things. This is a must-have room. Up here, this is, we have to have this too, or else there's no broadcast sent. What is it? Is it in Metro or Gotham? Oh, yeah, it's in, uh, yeah. I wish I could be a spokesperson for Netflix. That would be an awesome job. Something I truly love. I'm in Metropolis. I'm in the Science Spire at the top of it, not the midsection. Phrasing. I guess I could do this area down here, like in the corner, because I'm going to need a big space. But And it may just take over here. It may just take over a lot of things like this. Let's just see. Shall we? Okay, I don't know if I'll be able to see chat. Oh no, you're not talking to me on the screen. You're talking to me on the computer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're invited. I'm pretty sure all League members are invited. Maybe I should check that out. Yes. And you can use the amenities. Which does not mean the secretary. So this is coming out in prep for the Batman v Superman movie, which we already have dates to see. Um, what a great way to advertise for that. You know, what a, what a great way to get the word out about the movie. Now, I wonder if I'm going to have to type in BVS or Batman v Superman. Let's see. There we go. Let's see which ones we've got to go with. Oh my gosh! I gotta walk up to the screen for this. So we've got Batman staring down Superman. We have Commissioner Gordon. No. Who is that? Is that Gordon? No, that's Alfred. That guy looks like Gordon. He's got glasses. Alright. Batman hulked up. Batman and his Hulk Buster. <laughs> Ooh, now that's tight. Ooh, wow, that's new. I haven't seen that one. They're punching at each other. I don't like the punching stuff, but all right. Oop, another one, taller one with them punching at each other. Oop, different angle, the same punch. That's pretty cool. Let's see what. Oh, it's small. So we could do like that one in the middle and then the different angles of the punch all the way around it. So it was like you were seeing the whole punch at one time. The whole punch. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, there's the tall one. Okay. Ooh, Lois Lane. Oh snap! Woo! We got Lois. Lois is in the his house. She is a very good Lois Lane. She c could be better. She could play a better Lois Lane. It's not her fault. I blame directors. I always blame the director. That's a good one. Boom. Wonder how tall that is. It's quite huge. Wonder Woman. Should have given that to you. I didn't know I could give these, so. I don't know. I think you can. Oh, I have two of those. So I have two Wonder Woman. Two of those. Standard poster wide. How wide? That's pretty wide. Not the one I want, though. Is there a way to get this poster in game? Yes. You can get Marks of Legend, right? So, 
by doing P Legends PvP or Legends PvE, you'll get Marks of Legend, and then you can go, uh, again, thanks to Dark Demon for telling us this, you can go to the Watchtower at the War Room and get them. So you do not have to go and buy these off the vendor, or the Marketplace. You can go and um, get them with Marks of Legend. So it's pretty cool that way. I want to get back to that punch because that was a cool one. <laughs> oh, so there's the little one upright. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I like that one, too. I hear an airplane flying around in my league hall, or in my room here. That is awesome. So that'll be about standing level. This is going to change because I'm going to end up having... Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, you did, Dark Demon. You are those... What is that called? Skimming. Got the skim. Because what I'm going to end, I think I'm going to end up taking everything down over here, or probably here. No, this is too cool to do that. <laughs> but I could put a couple things there, though. Like, yeah. Like, I've got this one up here. Go with. Damn, these are tight. Ooh. It's huge. It's pretty big and I don't know how much they are with for Marks of Legend. Yeah. Can check it out in the yeah, we can check it out in the war room. <laughs> That's gonna change. That's too cool to be behind that. In fact. Pull one of these numbers. Oh. I 
just want a whole wall of it. Where it's just like Batman vs. Superman nonsense. Oh no, it's cool, Demon. If you know, tell us. Because I'm still engulfed in these posters. Ooh, we got two of these ones. They are 100 each. 100 each. So I don't have enough to get it myself right now. Oh, each poster? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so you don't get a pack. You have to do it by the poster if you do that. I wish there would have been one of Superman and Lois, though. That's one thing I would like to see. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of get them all out here and then can arrange them. Commissioner Alfred. Got a Wayne Enterprises logo. On front of that one. That's tight. Batman out here. Another Batman. Ooh, I really like that too. That's tight. It's about gonna have to go there. And this one can move. This could be more of a here thing. You get uh, Ben. 101 Gamer asked, how do you get Marks of Legend? By doing uh, Legends PvP or Legends PvE. <clears throat> so pretty much anything Legends. We'll get that for you. Ooh. get Lois up there somewhere. And some of these are going to get combined. So you can overlap stuff now. So some of these are going to get combined to be together. If there was one of Lois and Superman, they would that would be the one. Dude, I just can't get over. I mean, look at that. How in the heck do they do that? It's incredible. I mean, that's just... It's just beauty. Let's put a couple over here. I am definitely going to do that POV thing where we're going to put all different angles of that fight.
Some beef stew. <laughs> Lida needs beef stew. It's Dinty Moore time. Ooh, Lex Luthor. Maybe somewhere getting punched. Yeah. Whoa, shoot. He's like renegade Lex Luthor. It's like... He looks like a cabin boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fancy lad. He's fancy lad Lex Luthor. Ooh, I forgot Wonder Woman. Together. That'd be tight. Yes. Oh my god. Should be like these aren't gonna work out to where. Yeah. Something's gonna have to give as far as I'm, I may not be able to fit it, so there's no. There may be have to be space in between these. Yeah. The space between. <laughs> uh, I so you want Wonder Woman over here, opposite Lois? They're not facing each other though. I feel like Lois would really reach out to Wonder Woman in her time of need. She worked out really well for Wonder Woman. She could use a little bit more up top, but as far as muscles, I mean, is what I'm saying. But um, <laughs> outside of that, she really she she looks the part. Up top, we're gonna have Batman. Stare down. Not that Batman. I like that too. Looks like all hell's getting ready to break loose. I don't think I can put four. Darn it. I never want this to end. I just want to stay here and look at it for the rest of my life. Alright. Yeah. And what can go down here? Oh, there is just a Superman one. Hell yeah! Yeah, only a smaller one. See, I didn't get League ones. There must be different packs or something, I don't know. Damn. So now I want Superman and Lois to be together. Ooh, you know what? I could do that, yeah. Here's what I'm going to do, though. Mm, 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 mm. It's love connection. Love connection. These are your parents. Or they're Hippolyta Ken's parents. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Sorry.
Let's get it on. My life is complete. I want it to be like close enough, you know. I don't know. Let's see, that'll work. I don't know what to do on the sides now. It doesn't matter. Everything has to revolve around that from now on. <laughs> I'll fix that. Uh, there's going to have to be a bigger one put up, too. Let me just get it up here to look at it. Maybe not. Oh, no, there's one. I'll end up redoing those too. That's tight. Let's get a close up of that. I still have several left. I could do this literally all night. And I probably will. But. But first. Wonder Woman here somewhere. I'll put her somewhere better too. I mean, obviously. Lex, I don't care. Go wherever the heck you want. Alright. So that's all of them, I think. Damn. That is a ton. I just want to go see... Nope. Okay, so yeah. I didn't get any leak hall ones at all. It must be based on package. It's based on your package. Right down to the emblem he's wearing, you can see everything. Oh, there's two Wonder Woman. That's like a Lex sandwich right there. That's a party Lex isn't uh, scared to be a part of, especially with that hair. It's a ladies' killer. Lady killer? Probably has killed ladies. This is badass right here. Every angle of that punch. Well, most angles. Down here. Love. If he didn't love her so much, I would steal Lois Lane from him. 
I'm in rock bar wood. Mm-hmm. Well, rocks. <laughs> Even as the date the movie comes out, you can see the little rubbery parts of the uh Holy crap. You can see Ben Affleck's chin hair. That's how detailed it is. That's how detailed. So damn. All right. Well, I'm going to have to take a lot of time and put this all together in a way that makes sense better for a studio or for a background backdrop. I'll probably just end up taking this room over. Or this back wall. I don't know. We'll figure that out. But that is inevitably going to be a huge part of the studio forever. I cannot believe they've been able to do this with such detail in such a short amount of time. And this is the result and it's not even you know it's not even that bad if you're a member it's not even 10 bucks if you're going to buy it off the marketplace and if you're going to do mar marks of legend or not marks of legend yeah marks of legend <clears throat> it's a hundred per poster that you want so but you know still you can get it free that way All right. Well, the other thing that we got was the emblems, and I'll just show you real quick. I've got, you know, obviously this one. Get the Batman emblem, boom, which also you can change the colors on. So, you change the main color. I think I'll make it red. And then this is the... There. Only two colors to the Batman one. We've got... Wonder Woman! Superman is the one I had on. Wonder Woman. Same thing. Customizable colors. Then we've got the worn Batman. Which you can't really see it up close. Or until you get up close. But it is worn. Like it's got little places where it's been beat up. It's only red. You can't change the color of it. So I'm guessing Batman has a red emblem and Batman be Superman, which makes no sense. I don't know either. I guess we'll find out. Oh yeah. And we got the Superman, the worn Superman emblem. No, I do not believe um, Ben 1010, is that his name? Ben 101 Gamer. No, they're not a limited time. I believe they're here to stay. So, um, unless you hear otherwise, and it's not for me, you should believe it. <laughs> because I really have no idea, but I really, I don't think it's something they'd take away. They They build up for it, so... Back to the emblem and the worn Wonder Woman. I need to go put my 
Superman back on because I'm not sure if I saved it. To a uh, build. And I'll do different things with him, with the emblem color for rock, but for now it's red. Yellow. Oh. Because it's been a long time coming. Now I no longer need that Superboy hoodie. Yep. I don't care. I'm never going to the vault again. That's yeah. the outcome of this. <laughs> That's what DCUO has done. They've. I'm sorry, that was not their intention. No, I'm joking. I'll still go there. Uh, oop, i got to replace a picture up there. I will still go there, and I will still try to get the Superboy hoodie, but it's just not a huge priority right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make my eyes red again just because it makes sense. And we're going to go to Vartek because i got to save this and I'll show you my new casual outfit that will be worn evermore when I play DCUO. Most of the time when I'm broadcasting, DCU tonight will be going cash. I'm sure I'll find all kinds of cool combinations for this logo, emblem. Goodbye. Now for the casual outfit. Boom. See, that's why I no longer need the Superboy hoodie. I have the Superboy shirt. Yeah. Yeah, it's got the line through it like on Batman, or like on... Uh, Man of Steel. Can't so much tell, but and if you take the outside of the emblem off the logo, it makes the logo look a little bit smaller, um, or the yeah the outline makes the emblem look a little bit smaller. It looks kind of Superman returns it, it returns ish. So that's always cool. That's weird. I thought someone was in here with me. Oh, there he is. Okay. So there we go. Now I have a proper Superman costume for Superman JLA, and I have a proper Superboy costume for Superboy JLU. This is probably the greatest, the sec this will be the second greatest day of my life. Aside from the day my son's born. Thank you, DCUO. We freaking love you guys. This is... I mean, I don't know how, how much better it could possibly get than this. And don't forget, there is a PvP term tournament coming up. It's this Saturday, I think. It's the, eight, it's the 19th at 9 a.m. Pacific. And um, you can sign up by going to, the, to DC Universe Online... And there will be, in the announcement section where they announce it, there's a link you can sign up for it. Now, you do have to have four players. It's 4v4 four v, uh, four v four PvP. It is not Legends. And it is themed. So your entire theme has to be either Superman-themed or Batman-themed. And you need to follow the colors. There's a color guide there. Um, we've talked about it also in a different stream, so you can find out um, what you need to wear. But essentially, you know, Superman, red and blue, Batman, I'm not sure. I want to say gray and black, maybe. Don't take my word for that. Go and check it out for yourself. Um, we will not be participating because we don't do PvP, really. But um, I, don't, I have yet to see if they're going to stream it. I hope they stream it. Please. Please let us watch. I know someone will YouTube it. Several people probably will. So, um, all right. Well, we've kind of hung out long enough on that, and um, I want to start talking about some DC TV a little bit. Not a whole lot because there's not a lot to talk about. But two very big things happened this week. 
on both Gotham and Supergirl. This was a slow week for DC TV, or it has been so far, but um, Supergirl and Gotham, some big, some major episodes. Um, the episode of Supergirl from this week, and I can't remember the title of it right now, the biggest thing I can really pull from that, well, this was the Red K, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. So this we saw. This was the first uh, kind of glimpse of red kryptonite on Supergirl, and we see that the effect is similar to the effect on Smallville, um, where it kind of takes down, lowers her inhibitions a little bit. Um, only this one's more like it's just she's a little bit enraged, and um, the difference being here as well is she doesn't have to keep contact with it like Clark did on Smallville. So in this one, she comes in, she in, come, she's in the vicinity of it. It's almost like you know, regular kryptonite, um, and then she takes on the effect, and, you know, she starts being a biatch, scares people, <laughs> throws Cat Grant off a building, <laughs> that has to be one of the coolest moments ever, Cat's, you know, being Cat, that lady, she cannot speak without being rude. Like, she doesn't know how to have a conversation with someone without her response being a jab at that person in some way. And she absolutely can't answer a question from anyone without ripping their head off. So she... Peace. And then, of course, she catches her before she lands. But anyway, it rattles Cat. Cat goes on to uh, dismantle Supergirl's character publicly blah 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 they you know that's all well and good but the major thing that happens here is she you know Kara keeps pushing the envelope to the point where Jean has to step up and stop her and so and so doing has to out himself so now everyone knows Martian Manhunter is a thing they know Jean Jones is, is dead or they know um, Hank Henshaw is dead um I still don't think that Hank's going to be dead. I still think the real Hank's going to be out there somewhere. We're going to get a android Superman or a cyborg Superman. Um, but now Jean's locked up. And we don't know how that's going to go. But we will find out on the next Supergirl (laughs) this coming Monday. Um, Gotham, the big thing that happened there, uh, aside from a lot of crazy Penguin stuff, you know, Penguin basically being tormented, now he's reformed and they put him back out on the street. Um, But what I said was going to have to happen has happened. Like, this show was going to a point where it makes no sense anymore to have Bruce be in this young kid that's living at home. Um, they kind of have to get him going down the path of being Batman. We have Mr. Freeze. We have, you know, uh, Edward Ning- Nigma acting a, a lot like Riddler now. Um, and so at, at some point you have to wonder, when is this transition going to happen that Bruce is going to start to go down the path to becoming Batman, well, that happened this week. Um, He's left the mansion. He's left the manor. He's out living on the street with uh, Selina, which kind of fits. You know what I mean? It should be bothersome a little bit because that just hasn't been what the mythology has said. But it makes a lot of sense that she would be the guide, you know? And then when he takes off from being with her... And goes to the League of Assassins and all that stuff. And comes back years later. She doesn't know necessarily that Bruce is back in town. But now Batman's out. Catting around. Or, you know, batting around. And by that time she's probably doing Catwoman type stuff. So, I like where that's headed, actually. I didn't think that I was going to. But I do. So Bruce is out. He's out living on the street. He's, it was a really good... Um, speech that he gave about why he was doing it and I won't go into too much detail or ruin that for you if you haven't seen it but you can go now it is available to stream online Um, for your pleasure for your instant pleasure and I guess while we're doing this I'm going to go ahead and switch on over to dccomics.com so we can talk about the hashtag DCTVSecrets if there are any new ones up 
and the pull list for this week. So I want to go ahead and thank everyone who joined us in chat because I won't be able to see your names here in just a minute. Um, Dark Demon, of course, from the league. Uh, Superman Red, thank you guys for joining us. And also Ben 101 Gamer, thank you for joining the stream and, and getting involved in chat tonight. Well, let me move over here to... DCComics.com We did go ahead and download that All Access app. It is awesome. It is everything they said it was and more. Um, it's like the future of DC Comics on your phone. <laughs> it completely revolutionizes my world. I could probably sit here and read from it and do an entire show just from all the information that they put on there and just keep doing that every day. Because there's so much stuff there that, um, so much information that I can get into. There's behind the, the scenes stuff that they don't, haven't put anywhere else. Um, clips, there's interviews, um, just you name it, you're going to find it. There's even games and stuff on there, which I really like. So, tonight's DCU Tonight, sponsored by Mountain Explosion. It's an explosion in your mouth, not the kind you think. Mountain explosion. Yeah, I'm kidding. Yeah. We're not sponsored by anyone. Except ourselves. And our adoring fans. We adore you. <laughs> I don't mean that in the sense that we have people adoring us. I mean that in the sense that we adore you. If you're watching. There's another app, There's another app coming? Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. Well, let's move on over to the DC Comics portion of the show on DCU Tonight, live on VAR Nation. Again, I'm your host, Rock VAR, on the couch with Apollo Kent. And I'm looking at the new DC Superhero Girls mobile app. Now that also has an app of its own. Incredible. DC Comics has taken over the world, ladies and gentlemen. Taken over the world. There's a new episode of the Vertigo Lounge up on the website here today. But I want the hashtag DC TV Secrets. So, conveniently located on the site, we have a search bar, and we will find it. All right, we got some for Gotham here. Oh, no, we don't. All right, we got one for Supergirl, so. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot that Ozzy's wife was on this show. Sharon Osbourne was on Supergirl this week, and that chick from Roseanne, and I don't know her name. Sarah, Sarah something. All right, Supergirl may bring hope to National City, but her new series brings along with it secrets from throughout comic book history. And they're here to tease us with them at hashtag DCTVSecrets.com. <laughs> hashtag DCTVSecrets. If you have a, a secret, you're encouraged to tweet with the, the hashtag DCTVSecrets and help add to what they've got. 
Uh, Kara encounters red kryptonite for the first time, and every bad thought she has ever had comes bubbling to the surface. If you wonder what Supergirl would be like if she was a mean girl, now you know. Kara opened up and was brutally honest with everyone around her, and we're going to do the same, but in a nicer way. Here are some of the DC TV secrets from this week's episode. The first one, what is red kryptonite? I think we know that one. Oh, that's right. Grumpiness is from being hangry. Has nothing on the sort of malicious feelings that come from red kryptonite. I have no idea what they were just talking about. Uh, the glowing crimson rock was created by Maxwell Lord, and it turns Kara into a dangerous, rage-filled version of Supergirl. In the comics, red kryptonite had different effects. No two pieces of the substance caused the same issues. On Smallville, Clark Kent reacted like Kara and became rebellious and selfish. Other results of being exposed to red kryptonite have included bizarre mood swings, amnesia, the growth of additional limbs, and accelerated aging. No matter the effect, if you're Kryptonian, you're going to want to steer clear of the stuff. So yeah, that's what we talked about with uh, Clark on Smallville. He rode a motorcycle and called himself Cal. So that's about as rebellious as you can get. <clears throat> oh crap, I'm just standing here in the damn doorway. Let's move on into our wonderful studio. Da -da -da, with all of our new p movie posters. Wonderful. Great Caesar's Ghost! Did we see Perry White in this one? And I didn't pay attention? Was he? Siobhan's ambition gets the better of her, and she considers sending her big Supergirl scoop to Perry White. Oh, yeah. He's none other than the editor-in-chief editor of the Daily Planet. We should all know this. He was introduced back in Superman number 7. He rose through the ranks, starting his career as a freelance reporter. White's widely, widely known as a talented journalist and has led the Daily Planet through thick and thin and in Smallville... He hooked up with Martha Kent. That's right. Big Daddy, Big Papa Perry hooked up with Martha Kent in Smallville. He was... Oh, yeah, that's right. They're married in real life. The guy that played uh, Perry White on Smallville and Annette O'Toole. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. She's awesome. The original um, Lana Lane. Lana Lang from the uh, Superman movie. Yep. In case you didn't know that. Anyway, so that is the hashtag DC TV secrets for Supergirl. Let's see if there's any on here for Gotham. There should have been, unless they didn't start doing Gotham yet. Ah, yes. This should be interesting, because... <laughs> Alfred is awesome. So that yeah, that's another thing I forgot to talk about was Alfred kicking ass. It's really no se secret at this point though. And in a lot of versions Alfred had been average waiter or, you know, butler. <laughs> it's no secret Alfred is awesome. Alfred is the man, need I say more. This week we saw just how far he'll go to help Bruce. We also see Bruce's growth as he confronts the biggest obstacles in his youth in his young life. What a jam-packed episode with DC TV secrets. Let's see what they are. When Alfred and Bruce set out to find more information on Matches Malone, they go through the mutants, a Roman Gotham gang, and their ironically, yeah, ironically named leader, Cupcake. The name Mutants pays homage to the gang of vicious uh, miscreants from Frank Miller's classic The Dark Knight Returns, which is what I assumed. In the comic book, an aging Bruce Wayne comes out of retirement to take up the mantle of Batman once more and rid Gotham of the growing plague, calling themselves the Mutants. The story pushes the Cape Crusader to the limits as he fights to reclaim Gotham, save its citizens, and crush the spreading mutant ideology. That's one of the greatest fight scenes in anything 
is the scene between the leader of the mutants and Batman. Um, no, I'm talking about in the animated movie, The Dark Knight Returns. That is one of the greatest fight scenes um, in an animated movie. Possibly in any movie. The, the dialogue is just jaw-dropping. That's the that's where um, Batman talks about being a surgeon. <laughs> and the dude's on his operating table or whatnot. And it, it just... It, it's awesome. So, if you haven't seen that, you definitely need to. Um, oh my gosh, I didn't catch this one. Born on a Monday. Did you catch the mutants were yelling during their fight as Alfred and Bruce approached? It was Solomon Grundy. Was that the fight that was going on? Solomon Grundy is a powerful villain who made his comic book debut in All American Comics number 61 in 1944. He's named after the, uh, the 1842 nursery rhyme Solomon Grundy, an immortal zombie, and super strength. with super strength and stamina, Grundy is virtually indestructible. And awesome. Solomon Grundy uh, has made enemies with a vast number of heroes throughout the DCU and has been featured in a number of important story arcs over the years and has crossed the city limits into Gotham on many occasions, frequently going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Caped Crusader. Anytime they meet, it takes all of Batman's brains and brawn to overcome the big gray brute. He, he's tough on Superman, too. I mean, th imagine someone with, like, Superman-esque strength who's also immortal. I mean, he's basically Doomsday, if you want to look at it that way. He can't be killed. He's super strong. He's not that bright, but that's not his fault. Some versions he is. In some versions he's bright, but in some of them he just he isn't. So, but you know, we don't hold that against him. But those are the hashtag DC TV secrets for this week's episode of Gotham. And again, if you see a secret that they haven't talked about, they do encourage you to tweet uh, with the hashtag DC TV secrets. And there we can all share, we can share our secrets with each other. It's kind of the idea of it. And that brings us to pretty much the wrap-up part of the show where we're going to talk about the DC Comics pull list for the week and then exit. And Lida and I are going to play the crap out of some DCUO because that's what we do. It is now almost 1230. It's tomorrow, everyone. Sorry for the late uh, edition. It's just I got so caught up in all this stuff and looking at these emblems, and I changed my emblem on several tunes. I, you know, I just couldn't help myself. So, um, the pull list for this week on DCComics.com. All everything that I've talked about here tonight, as far as um, you know, what's happening at DC Comics, can be found in various forms on DCComics.com. Um, I encourage you to go to the website and help them get traffic as well. You know, share any of the uh, the articles on here that you can. Um, but the pull list for this week: Justice League Volume Justice League Volume Seven, Dark Side War Part One, Superman Number Fifty, Legends of Tomorrow Number One. All three are available for purchase now, and you can find them at your local retailer. I'm sure you can get digital copies. Uh, from dccomics.com. So, thank you again for joining us, guys. Um, it's been a you know wonderful couple of streams. We hope to keep it going. Um, if you are int interested in more information on us, obviously our YouTube page is Var Nation. Um, you can follow us on Twitter at Var underscore Nation to get the information on when the next stream will be. As far as this show is concerned, Friday night we'll be back on with DCU tonight and probably do some streaming tomorrow because we have a lot of time to do it and there's a lot to stream. So um, you can check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash var nation and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page. Thank you. We had like three subs today so we appreciate that. That's a big day for us and we thank you to each and every one of you. You're awesome. We encourage you to uh, comment and share and, and like this video if you enjoyed what you see. But as it stands, I'm going to go play this awesome game now. For Paula to Kent, this is Rock Bar. 
saying peace out.